Welcome to Daily Prayer, your sacred space for contemplation and connection, brought to you by the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer, and I'm truly delighted to have you here with us today as we journey together in prayer. It's Monday, April 8th, and we're reflecting on the second Sunday of Easter. Let's take a moment to still our souls, inviting the peace of God to fill our hearts. Let's pray. Almighty God, with joy we celebrate the day of our Lord's resurrection. By the grace of Christ among us, enable us to show the power of the resurrection in all that we say and do. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now let's hear today's scripture reading from the first letter of John, chapter 2. May the word of God speak to our souls. Now by this we know that we have come to know God if we keep his commandments. The one who says, I have come to know God, and yet does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in such a person. But whoever obeys his word, truly, in this person, the love of God has been perfected. By this we know that we are in him. The one who says he resides in God ought himself to walk just as Jesus walked. Dear friends, I am not writing a new commandment to you, but an old commandment which you had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have already heard. On the other hand, I am writing a new commandment to you, which is true in him, because in you, and in you, because the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. The one who says he is in the light, but still hates his fellow Christian, is still in darkness. The one who loves his fellow Christian resides in the light, and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But the one who hates his fellow Christian is in the darkness, walks in the darkness, and does not know where he is going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Having received the word, let us now pour out our hearts to God, lifting up our joys, concerns, and gratitude. Whether in silent meditation or spoken word, let our prayers unite us in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations, 
Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. On this day that the Lord has made, let us pray for the people he has redeemed. That we may live as those who believe in the triumph of the cross. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. That all people may receive the good news of his victory. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. That those born to new life in the waters of baptism may know the power of his resurrection. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. that those who suffer pain and anguish may find healing and peace in the wounds of Christ. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. That in the undying love of Christ we may be united with all who have died in the faith of Christ. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Let us commend the world in which Christ rose from the dead to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. Thank you for joining us for Daily Prayer. We trust that this time of reflection has enriched your spirit and drawn you closer to God. If you found this podcast uplifting, please share it with loved ones and consider subscribing so you can journey with us each day. To support our ministry, visit our website at goodshepherdlife.org. Remember, no matter what challenges you face today, God's love surrounds you. Stay well. Spread kindness. I'll see you tomorrow.